Welcome back. In this video, I want to demonstrate documentation within the Meditech Expanse system. This demonstration is also going to be using parts of the problem list. So if you have not seen the video on the problem list, I would recommend that you go watch that now. That'll give you a bit more familiarity when we are using the problem list within our documentation. This patient was admitted from the emergency department with a urinary tract infection. I am the family medicine doctor who's going to be taking care of this patient today. I can see in the patient's chart over here on the right hand column in the reference panel that the active problem on this patient is currently the urinary tract infection. I can also see down at the bottom part of the reference panel the past medical history is significant for that of diabetes and hypertension. I've seen this patient, so now I'm ready to go ahead and place a document on the patient. I'm going to click the document button. When I click the document button, it's going to bring me into the documentation section that allows me to select a document template for which I want to document on the patient. In this case, I want to select a family medicine progress note. When I select the Family Medicine Progress Note, it brings up the template. Here, I can use the narrative box to place my note, and I can also use the structured area here called the Assessment and Plan, and I can document based on the patient's active problems. In the narrative box, I'm going to go ahead and type a little bit of information here based on my discussion with the patient today. I can go ahead and type the note or I can use front end dictation and do voice to text if I would like. This patient is feeling much better today. She has been up walking around the unit and she has been able to eat and drink well today. Now I want to document based on the actual active problems that the patient has been admitted with. When I click the problem button right here, it brings up the problem history and list. Here I can see the active problem on this patient is the urinary tract infection. I can also see over here on the right hand side of the column that the patient has a history of diabetes and hypertension. Thankfully, these are both very well controlled and not part of the active problem for this visit. I'm going to go ahead and select this little piece of paper here that says add beside the active problem. When I click on that, that is now going to add that problem to my documentation. I'm now going to hit save. You can see that the urinary tract infection has now been added to my problem list in my documentation. I can now go ahead and document against that problem. Patient is currently on Cipro. She is feeling much better, no longer having any irritative urinary symptoms. We will await the culture results and likely be able to discharge the patient tomorrow. So now I've been able to document the urinary tract infection and what the plan is going to be for that. If the patient has another active problem that comes up, I can also add that problem right now during my documentation. This patient has a history of diabetes, and it just happens that her blood sugar was a little bit high today from her baseline. I'm going to go ahead and add that as a problem. I'm going to take her diabetes that she has as a past medical history over here, and I'm going to add that to the active problem list. And I'm going to add that to my note. 
you can now see that the diabetes is an active problem and it's now part of my progress note documentation. I'm going to make a note here that the patient's blood sugar has been running a bit high. She is maintained on metformin. We will monitor it closely. Closely. And recheck the sugars tonight and tomorrow. Okay. You can also see that now since I've added the diabetes to the active problem on this visit, it now also shows up here over in the active problem list in the reference panel. I've now done this note. I'm going to go ahead and save it. If we move ahead to tomorrow, when I go to place a progress note tomorrow, I can now easily bring in and review the past problems on that patient that were previously documented on. Let me illustrate that. If I pull up a new family medicine progress note, it brings up the template that I am quite familiar with now. I can go ahead and type something in the narrative note uh, based upon my assessment of the patient. And under the assessment and plan, I can add new problems or bring in the previous problems that the patient is here with. By clicking this button here where you see the three little dots, I can view previous notes based on the patient's problem list that have been previously documented on. By clicking here, you will see that I can see my note from yesterday that I placed on this patient based upon my plan for the urinary tract infection and for the diabetes. Here I can scroll through different progress notes through various dates of the patient's stay. I want to bring in these problems into my note, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the problem button here to bring in the diabetes and the urinary tract infection. I could hit add to pull these in and they will present into my document as they have in the previous example. However, there is a button here called recall. This recall button will allow me to recall problems from my previous progress note. By clicking the recall button, you will see that it brings up that past assessment and plan for this patient in my previous progress note included the urinary tract infection and the diabetes. I can simply just click this button here and it will bring these all directly into my progress note for me. I can now document based on today's assessment on this patient's urinary tract infection and their diabetes. Thank you for watching.